What's going on, all my frag heads and said heads? The champ is here, and I'm about to tell you what's fragging. So, first and foremost, I want to tell you what the video is about, and this is going to be the weekly rotation where I bring to you what I'll be wearing and experimenting with this week, and then also recapping what I wore and experimented with last week. But first and foremost, let's get the uh, YouTube stuff out the way, shall we? You wouldn't walk into someone's home without saying hi, would you? Of course not. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you become part of the tribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content. Make sure you leave me a comment because I love interacting with you guys. Let me know what vetiverse you'll be wearing this spring or summer. What is your favorite vetiver? What is your favorite fragrance? Go ahead and leave that comment. Also like the video because the algorithm won't promote my stuff unless I tell you guys to do that. And then also share the video to any one of your social media platforms because it can be useful to someone who likes fitness, fragrance, and fashion. I'm just saying in mindset, lifestyle, baby, we here in how to's. Get the video out there. But let's start with what I'll be experimenting with this week. And here's a fragrance I actually just mentioned in another video. And that's going to be Guerlain Ohm EDP. Simple. Mojito vibes. Yes, yes, yes. Vetiver. You get in here, you get some lime in here, you get some mint up in here. It just smells like a great time, man. Like it smells like poolside. You know, and not like poolside where it's like a public pool or anything like that, but like a beach, you know, like you're actually at a body of water and people around you are having a good time. Like it literally smells like a mojito. More specifically it reminds me of a time where I was in Mexico and they had a bar inside the pool and I was sitting there drinking um, something out of a coconut. I forgot what the, it may, may have been a mojito drinking it in the middle of a pool. It gives me that vibe, like it takes me back there. It just makes me feel like great, you know? Like I said, a good time outside, I'm an outdoorsy person and I just love spending my time in nature and I love being around people and just having that uplifting mood and providing that uplifting energy. And that just gives this to me, man. It literally gives it to me. But more specifically, I wanna say they call the mint spicy mint. You do get the lime, you do get the mint, you do get the booze, you do get the vetiver. I believe there's patchouli in here as well. Um, one of the reasons why I wanna experiment with this is because living in Phoenix, wearing vetivers in the summertime can do some damage to the nostrils. It's almost like sage to me. Like sage gets all up in my nostrils and then it causes that headache. And I don't want that this summer. So I'm experimenting with these fragrances and I'll probably be wearing like vetiver based um, fragrances during the spring because you know, you do get that grass smell. It's that grass feeling. It's that outdoorsy feeling. And that's kind of what I want, you know, in spring, not for summer. Summer, I just want to smell fresh all day, right? Fresh and soapy. That's me. But yeah, I'm going to experiment with this because the first time I bought it, not even the first time I bought it, but when I bought it, it was a blind buy. The first time I wore it, hopped in the shower, got out, sprayed my wrist a couple times and, you know, just doing the smell check. You know, that was pretty much it. And then I was going to bed. Well, I couldn't stop smelling it. Let me say that I couldn't stop. It just smelled wonderful, man. And then when I was going to bed, I kept smelling it too because it's on my wrist. So I'm laying there like this, like, like this smells great. Woke up the next morning and was like, I got to wear this again. Um, wore it to work and I did smell it through the day, but I didn't smell it. Like it didn't project well. The longevity was there because it lasted all day. And then when I came home, like I said, I still smelt it on me, but it was more so of the rum than anything else. But that's what I'm testing to see the performance. You know, if it's good performing, if it's bad, a lot of summer and spring fragrances doesn't have great performance. I've also read some reviews that said that the performance isn't that great. They wished it lasts a little bit longer. To me, I didn't have a lasting issue. A longevity issue was more so of a projection issue. So let's see if this thing projects or if this is just going to be one of those, you know, hey, you have to get close to me. You're going to have to experience me to experience this. So this is going to be one of the vetiverse I wear. Next one 
is going to be another cheapy. Well, it is a cheapy actually. Banana. Let's see. Banana Republic 78 Vintage Green. I've included this in a, another video called Sencho State or Sencho City. I really can't remember, but I'll go ahead and leave the link here for you to go check that out. Make sure you do all the YouTube stuff to that video as well, because I need you to do that. Um, but it just reminds me of Arizona, man, like cacti, not a desert, you know what I mean? But just palm trees. That's it, really. Palm trees, green leaves, and 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 grass, <laughs> I guess you could say. But it's pleasantly done. Like I know I kind of made it seem like it's weird in a way, but it's it's really not. Like it doesn't smell like outside. Like you're not gonna come in smelling like the sun or anything. You know, you know that that feel where you're like, oh, you just smell like outside. No, you don't get that. So funny thing about this is that I included this in Sincho State because for that video. I did research, right? I was like, okay, what does Arizona smell like? What are people gonna say Phoenix smells like? And this just reminded me of that. So the first person I had smell, they said, this smells great, this smells like the freeway, which means I knelt it on the head. But that's it, man. It just smells like, like a countryside. You know, I guess you can say like you're in your car, windows down, air blowing, great sunny day. You're gonna get this, man. It's, I believe what's in here is fig, green leaves and vetiver maybe some violet in here as well some floral some jasmine -y maybe yeah but i've worn this a couple times i actually wore it yesterday to a restaurant um i don't know really what to sit and i really don't know what to say about this one because the times i experimented it with it it gave me a headache but i think it's because i over sprayed it yeah, I think because I oversprayed it maybe, so go light on the trigger. It lasts all day to me, but again, I haven't worn this in like a professional setting. I've worn this more so just around the house, to be honest with you. Yeah, I haven't worn this in public at all. No, 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 take that back. I uh, Yesterday, I did, I wore this to a restaurant, totally forgot. But in that circumstance, it was literally, I got done with my day, finished working out, came home, took a shower and then I was asked hey do you want to go out to eat and I was like yeah but I've already applied this and I wasn't gonna wash it off and apply another fragrance so I put on clothes and rocked it that way and the whole time I ate I smelt myself like I got wasps of it but it wasn't something where it was intense you know it was one of those like you just smell pleasant it's nothing heavy Nothing annoying really, it didn't give me a headache then, but the previous times it did. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to wear this more and see if I oversprayed it or see if I can detect the note that actually gave me the headache. Maybe it was allergies, I don't know. But yeah, another cheapie to pick up, Banana Republic 78 Vintage Green. Last but not least, it's, I guess you can say it's legendary, I don't know. But when I first started uh, watching fragrance reviews, I would see this fragrance mentioned a lot. So I just had to get it. And I love the bottle, by the way. That's going to be Ferrari Bright Neroli. I just love this bottle, man. I don't know what it is. I just love it. Simple, Neroli, Vetiver. Simple as that, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say about this fragrance. I mean, I can read you the notes that are in here. Let's see. So to be exact, the notes behind this is Philip. Uh, top notes are bitter orange, citron, lemon. Middle notes are neroli, orange blossom, rosemary, and Sichuan pepper. Base notes are vetiver, amber, and patchouli. I mean, to be totally honest with you guys, I can't get the lemon. You get the, the 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 rosemary and the sage, yeah. You get the rosemary and the sage, cause it's piercing, bro. Like it gives it like a heavy alcohol feel, you know. Like it almost smells like. So this this would be 
This would be a mojito? And this would be like a... It smells like a drink too, man. I really can't put my finger on it. Like this would be a mojito and this would be like a... A heavy shot of something. You wanna see something funny, y'all? Look, I smelt it. The reason why I did that face, as weird as it sounds, it's starting to leak. Can y'all see that? Look, it's starting to leak. So when I smelt it, it got inside my nose, and then when I touched it, it's running down the bottle, which is super weird for this video. And I tried to play it off. I'm not even gonna edit it. You know why? Because it gives me a human element to my videos. Man, I love that human element to videos where, you know, I see people reading the notes. I see people experimenting with the fragrance. Look, it's dripping everywhere, bruh. What's going on? What just happened here? <laughs> I'm so shocked. Look at that. It's dripping. But yeah. I wonder if I did something wrong to the bottle. But anyways, like I was saying, this is just one I've always heard about in fragrance reviews. Um, I've never really gotten my nose on Neroli. So this was like the first Neroli fragrance I got my nose on. I love it. It makes me feel professional. Only problem with this is that I can't, I can't smell it for long. I really can't. I think with this, this is more so like you can be trigger happy with this, right? It's like if you want to spray yourself 20 times, you can spray yourself 20 times and no one's going to complain about it. Me, sometimes I can be a heavy sprayer. And this is one of those fragrances where I don't have to be ashamed to go heavy with However, I don't know if that's my nose or not, you know, and then I don't know if people around me can smell it. So that's going to be why I'm experimenting with it. It's just to see if people around me can pick this note up and to see what I, what do I get more of? Do I get more of the Neroli? Do I get more of the vetiver? You know, I, I really don't know at this point. I'm kind of sad that happened to my bottle, but yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the recap. Um, so last week I wore Jimmy Choo Man Intense. I wore Bogari's Manwood Essence. And uh, I wore Think Think Said, Think Said, Think Said. Uh, Roberto Cavalli Womo. Now, Roberto, Ca Roberto Cavalli Womo is one of those fragrances where I feel like that got hyped up and I still stand by that. That is a hyped fragrance. I wore it last week three times. Way too sweet for me, man. Way too sweet. Like you're gonna have to be a fan of like sickly sweet fragrances. And then even the floral notes were sweet. That was the crazy thing about it. Like I'm so used to like lavender smelling like laundry, but in that fragrance, like it literally smelled like they try to make a lavender kool-aid or something it was just they, they did too much man i just felt like they did too much with that fragrance i feel like it wasn't blended well i feel like they put a whole bunch of notes in a bottle and just sold it it, it just yeah i don't that's that's one of those fragrances like i wish i just didn't buy um but it lasted long didn't get any compliments from it it projected well a little too well for me it was a little annoying to my nose but you know that's fine yeah, I just wouldn't buy that one again. Um, when it comes to Bagari Man with Essence, I did enjoy it a little bit more. Like I said, it's 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 youthful, it's young, it's juicy, it's vibrant. You know, I can see myself wearing it like for not a dumb reach, but yeah, I guess a dumb reach for a vacation or for a occasion that I really don't care about. Like I just want to smell good. Like I said, my nephew soccer game you know it's real sporty to me it's real sporty as well i think it could have been a sport fragrance now maybe it's just me but anybody else who buys fragrances do you find that the sport fragrances just don't smell sporty like i feel like man would essence smell sporty like that would be one of those fragrances like if you walked into a locker room or you walked into a gym like that's the scent you would get because that's what this they're trying to appease people right they don't want you to be like oh it stinks in here like that's what it would be and one of the notes in there is sugar and you pick up on the sugar heavy heavily that's pretty much what you get citrus 
and sugar, sugary, sit, sugar, sugary, juicy citrus. That's how I would put it. Simple as that. Um, so Jimmy Choo Man Intense was the other one the melon note in there i wanted to see if i can wear the melon note during the spring because it did contain lavender and a few floral notes but i don't think i'll be wearing that one during the spring definitely the fall though definitely the fall that's going to be one of those fragrances where i'm going to have to include on a top list soon but that is just a great fragrance y'all it gets a lot of crap about the projection longevity the performance pretty much i didn't have any of those issues out of it the atomizer was insane the atomizer spits out so much juice like you just feel it running down your neck man i spray behind my ears and i can just feel it running down my neck it was it, it was uncomfortable at first but you know you get used to it um but that's definitely gonna make my list though one of my lists soon that's one of those great fragrances but yeah if you made it this far through the video i just want to go ahead and thank you for listening to me blabber about fragrances a little hobby that got me here that i kind of like talking about in a way because it's like chemistry but anyways do the youtube stuff you know what i'm talking about you know what i mean hit the sub button i need you to become part of the page make sure you leave me a comment what did you think about the video are you going to be wearing vetiverse um, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content also make sure you share the video because somebody may want to see this that can use this video also like it so the algorithm of youtube can say you know what we want people to watch his video let's do it with that being said your vibe attracts your tribe and i'm glad you made it here today we were connected and never give up man life is a journey and i think one of the things that people don't do is that they don't understand that they're too big of a gift to worry about anything you are a gift to this world man don't worry about this stuff everything's a hobby it's just fun peace and blessings <laughs>